I love Star Wars, partly because of the Force. This like broader understanding of magic and connection with all things as a way to flow your energy and um, change conditions. My name is Tourmaline. I'm an artist. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a writer or a storyteller. And I am in New York City. My role as an artist is to really focus on this moment in time and everything that led to it. And usually with my art, I'll take what is considered to be background, like black life, black trans life, and put that in the foreground. So much of that is about kind of navigating that historical erasure and uh, saying like these stories matter too. For 20 years I've been making art and living my life on Christopher Street. So much of who I am has flowed through that location. One of the parts of Christopher Street that people always talk about is next to Stonewall because of the 1969 Stonewall riots that were led by people like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson. And I made a film about Marsha, who is a black trans person, who was a performer in Off Off Broadway, who was a key figure in the Stonewall Rebellion. Marsha used to hang out right on Christopher Street and would walk up and down the street and hide clothes in the trash and kind of like run up and, and dig clothes out of the trash and like put on one look and do a little bit of a runway moment and then have another look. And these were things that were regulated. New York City had a, had a law, like a literal law, that if you were quote unquote cross-dressing in public, you would be arrested. To me, it was just such a powerful way to be in resistance to this law, but also to say all of me is deserving to show up in any given moment, and that includes the like light, fun, nothing serious is going on here parts. That's like a, such a powerful way of transforming these conditions. We intend to fight for our rights. For our rights. Until we get them. Until we get them. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. In this blow up. In this blow up. Of Marsha P. Johnson. Of Marsha P. Johnson. Protesting. Protesting. In front of NYU. In front of NYU. I started organizing literally over 20 years ago. I think to me I started doing that because my dad was incarcerated as I was growing up. And I was like really seeing the effects of the prison system on my life. I was around community people who were really excited about dreaming beyond what was. I think that we really struggle with each other and struggle for each other, and struggle to make sure that we're heard and seen by each other, you know, first and foremost, and um, build the world that we want to create. When I'm hanging out with flowers, or I'm hanging out on the pier, or I'll walk around Christopher Street and I'll daydream and I'll time travel. I put these large acts and the daily ones together. Really the underpinning idea that pleasure is a good thing, right? We get to relax, we get to rest, we get to dream, we get to be still, we get to release outdated ways of thinking that the harder you work, the more important that you are. We get to know that we came here fully deserving of everything that we want. That's what Freedom Dreaming is. To me, Afrofuturism, a similar way of talking about imagining what's possible, even in conditions that tell us otherwise. We can be anything we want to be. We can be anything we want to be. We can be anything we want to be. We